pet owners of Reddit, what is the most bizarre thing your pet expects from you? Please subscribe, like and leave a comment. Much love to you all. Every time I open the freezer, my dog runs over and waits for an ice cube. She then crunches it up and leaves it to melt on the living room carpet. My dog does this same exact thing, except he cries for another after crunching the first and half and dropping it. He repeats it until lice is everywhere. OMG my puppy loves ice cubes. It induces zoomies every time, but also it's the cheapest treat I could ask for, and it makes training her easier. Some dogs like ice cubes, because it brings down their body temperature very quickly. Some like it, because it soothes pain from teething. If my dog sees you pull out chapstick or lip gloss, he expects some on his nose. My mom will share her chapstick with him, and he has his own tube of lip gloss in my aunt's purse. This is amazing. I love to think he has sent favorites and stuff. Put the strawberry stuff on my sknoz, nan. I'm feeling fruity today. My dog loves getting kicked. I love my dog, and it isn't abusive, but he loves when I tuck my foot under his back when he's laying down and pushing him across the floor. You can tell he wants it when he flops onto your feet and stares at you. My dog is wonderful, but I'm still not too happy that my dog is kinky like that. My dog loves being kicked down the stairs, so I feel you. You nudge her down one step at a time, and if you go too slow she will hop back up the step for you to kick her down again. She will get up off the couch and run up the stairs to stand in front of you, so that you kick her down. This is so funny, and fantastic to imagine. My dog, 45 pounds, jumps in my lap to sit. If I push her off she thinks we are play fighting, and it's game on. I either have to let her sit there, or wrestle with her for 15 minutes. She has discovered a guaranteed way to get playtime. Yep, with a worst case outcome of big time lap snuggles. I have a great Dane who is sensitive. He hates it when his feet get dirty, when he accidentally steps in mud, or god forbid, poop, outside. He stands in the yard on three legs and won't move until I walk out there and wipe his foot clean. It's vaguely pathetic, but also amusing, so I do it on a routine basis. My dog is also very prissy like this, and I wouldn't have it any other way. He won't track anything gross back into the house that's for sure. My dog isn't necessarily prissy, but he can't do anything without me making sure I'm okay with it. For instance, my lab slash golden retrieve mix will not eat his food until I shake his paw, give him a kiss on the nose, and say ciao. He also sleeps on my bed every night, but he will not enter my room or get on my bed until I ask him to. Otherwise he will just stand there and look at me. Such a gentleman. I was once at a pet store and this woman had her two dogs there. I think they were hot wheelers, but it's been years. As she was walking into an aisle, she told him ladies first, and he stood aside to let the other dog and the woman walk ahead of him. My cats expect to join me in the bathroom for my morning shower. One is stationed at the bathroom sink for me to turn on the faucet to drip, and the other sits in between the shower curtain and liner while I'm in there. It hadn't struck me as being an odd routine until my husband, then boyfriend, and I started dating, and he came in during a shower like, why tf are you all in here? I must watch my cat pee. We almost lost him a few years ago to a seriously bad urinary blockage, for real, especially if your cat is indoor male and or overweight make sure they get enough water and he built up scar tissue that made urinating painful also it just sucked for a while because he couldn't so i'd watch him each time to monitor his progress and report to the vet being reassuring all the while he pulled through but now he calls me in to watch each time he has to pee like he literally cries like he's dying if i don't go it's been a couple years now it's a little much, but we are just happy the little jerk is okay. I put his slobbery toys away in the kitchen sink, and he wants me to hold my arm out so, so he can jump up and perch his front paws on my forearm, so he can stare at his toys in the sink. He's content after that. I have a big dog with lots of energy. He loves to play, but because he's so big it can be difficult, or he can use a bit too much force while playing. We know it's not his fault, but it got to a point where we were getting bruised. So for Christmas my brilliant mother got our dog a pair of welding gloves. They are thick and covers your whole arms. 
Charlie, our dog, loves them because now we can play with him as rough as he likes, as long as we have them on. We trained him with them, so he's very gentle when we're not wearing them, and waits patiently for us to put them on when it's playtime. The only downside is now we can't wear any other gloves, because our poor boy gets confused. My parents cat sleeps with them, and he's used to their schedule. So when he thinks bedtime is coming, he'll start annoying them, until they follow him into the bedroom. Sounds like my cat. We go to bed early on weeknights, and on the weekends, he expects us to be in bed by 8 or he howls. My cat expects me to do a patrol of the house with her every other day. She'll stand in a doorway yowling, until I walk up to her, then I have to follow her to the next room, and walk around it, pause to pet her, and repeat until the whole house has been covered. She occasionally drops live mice on my feet as well. I suspect she thinks of me as a very dumb kitten that needs assistance with hunting, and guard my territory. That is so precious. I can just picture her thinking, I'll just show the furless kitten what to do, and eventually it will be able to hunt on its own. Good thing it has me here, to take care of it. When I get home from work my labrador likes me to hold her paw, whilst I give her a belly scruffle. She also likes us to keep the printer full of paper, as she enjoys bopping the test button on with her her nose, and watching the paper go through. She's the boss of the house gbh. I have a pit slash lab who is simultaneously smart and stupid. I used to keep him in a fenced in yard, but he kept getting out. I discovered he was literally climbing a side of the fence that had chain link, like he was some kind of mountain climber. I blocked that bit of fence off, and he decides he's going to get out by ramming against the same section of the fence with his head until it breaks, and he can crawl through the gap. He could have dug under. The soil is so soft. But no, ramming speed. I heard that most cats don't like their tummies being touched, but when my cat is sleeping she'll roll over, belly up. And whenever I rub her tummy, she leans into my hand and starts purring. She only does this when she's sleeping. When she's awake she hates cuddling, and gets really violent, if you try to hold her. I have a theory, that all cats love belly rubs, but it's such a vulnerable area for them, that they have a hard time allowing it. My bulldog demands kisses before bed. Both him and my other dog, small mutt, sleep on my bed with me, and he's down by my feet. If I don't give him a kiss on the head, and tell him I love him, and goodnight before I tuck myself into bed, he will walk up to my pillow and headbutt me, until I kiss him, and then he walks back down to my feet to sleep. My cat meows loudly in the morning, so that I will get up, start the shower and let him drink 3 cupped handfuls of fresh shower water. I regard bending down, to let him drink from my hand as part of my morning stretching routine now. I have a cat, that will stand on the sink and stare at me throughout my whole morning routine, until I turn on the faucet for him to drink from. He gets so into it, that his whole head is under the water, while he drinks away. I guess this doesn't really answer your exact question, but it is a weird thing he does. My cat likes to steal tomatoes from the counter and leave them by the front door. I often step into half-eaten tomatoes when I come home from work. My cat Alf loved cherry tomatoes and would gobble them whole then shit the seeds all over the farm. First some of the old time farmer from next door demanded to know why I'd planted tomatoes all over creation. I said I didn't. The cat eats my salad tomatoes then plants them. Aha. Uh -huh. Cats don't like tomatoes. Guess it was easier for him to believe that the city girl wildly and freely planted 50 odd cherry tomato plants all over 20 acres. I don't understand what she wants, but one of my rats burrows deep into my clothing until she traps herself and then squeaks like I'm crushing her every day. I wonder if she's playing, like maybe she thinks it's hilarious and when you pull her out she's secretly having a laugh. If I let the dogs out when I get home and don't give them food immediately after, the big dog will stand next to his bowl and yell, bark, at me until I do. He demands dinner at 6pm, sharp. My dog does this too. He's old so he's just grumpy and wants to be fed exactly at 6pm. My dog is old too and really buys into old people stereotypes. He wants us quiet and ready for bed by 9.30 to 10pm and scratches at the door at 6am sharp for us to wake up and for me to walk him. My rabbit expects to get a treat if you go near the fridge. He will try to climb in. 
He will try to climb my daughter to steal her food. He will nibble on toes. Mine crawls in the fridge too. Also first thing in the morning he expects his digestive biscuit as soon as I get up. Otherwise he'll scratch at the bathroom door my whole shower. When I bend down to spit while brushing my teeth, my cat will jump up and stand on my bag. She then expects me to parade her around for the rest of my life, walking with my back at a 90 degree angle so that she can continue to stand upright. If I try to get her off, she clings to the back of my shirt with her claws. It's great. She's great. Everything is great. I once knew a cat that every time I saw him, he'd climb up onto my shoulders, get really happy, and start rubbing his face against mine and dribbling. He was lovely. I hoped he's okay. To sit on my lap while I'm taking a shit. My cat does the same. He also likes to watch me shower. I'm starting to feel like some neighborhood perv has attached a camera to him and is watching me. My dog expects me to make my two cats not play with each other, ever. She will cry softly to herself while pacing around me until either they stop playing or I tell the cats to be quieter. My dog will not play with the cats and doesn't seem to mind when we, the humans, play with the cats, but heaven forbid the cats want to play with each other. And as soon as the cats start making any kind of playful racket again she is right back to crying to herself. I'm guessing she probably thinks they're fighting? Cat language is different than dog language so maybe she thinks they're scrapping it out and she thinks there's a problem in the pack. It's kind of cute. If you think about it, she doesn't want her cat friends to be mad at each other. My girlfriend's parents border collie will start getting impatient and pawing the TV controller when he wants to watch Sean the sheep. He then spins around in circles and jumps up at the TV when Sean comes on. I do feel sorry for that dog that it didn't get to live on a farm sometimes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.